Hello, welcome to Home Cooking with Song Chit. Today I'm going to cook patin fish in ginger and spring onion sauce. I have 1 kg of frozen patin fish fillet, 6 tablespoons of ginger scallion sauce. This is homemade ginger scallion sauce. You can look out on how to prepare ginger scallion sauce on my other video which I have uploaded before. I will share the links down below this video as well. 2 tablespoons of garlic in oil. This is homemade garlic in oil. I have prepared something like this for easy usage. 1 tablespoon of oyster sauce. Half tablespoon of light soya sauce. Quarter teaspoon of sesame seed oil. About quarter cup of water. 1 cup of parsley cut into 1 inch length. This recipe is broken into 3 parts. Preparing the fish, cooking the sauce and braising the fish in the sauce. First, we're going to prepare the fish. I'm going to cut it open. As it's frozen, we're going to allow it to thaw. But must be carefully because it's very fragile. After the fish is thawed, I'm going to wash it, then we can cook it. This is patin fish that is thawed and washed and clean. Next, I'm going to prepare the sauce. Heat the pan. This is to put in medium to high heat. Pour in all the ginger scallion sauce. Pour in all the garlic in oil. Light soya sauce. Oyster sauce, sesame seed oil, give it a mix. Add in about 4 tablespoons of water. Put in just a bit of parsley, the stem part. We have the parsley that the stem part. Give it a mix and bring it to boil. When the sauce is bubbling, give it a stir to ensure that the ingredients are well mixed. And now we can give it a taste. Hmm. Delicious. We are looking for a slight salty sauce as it will balance the fatty patin fish later. If you want to add on any more seasoning, you can do so. But now I'm happy with this, so I'm going to add in the fish. When putting in the fish, right, try to spread it all over the pan. Try not to overlap it so that it can cook evenly. as the pan is quite crowded, but it's okay. Now I'm putting in the parsley on top. Cover the lid and let it cook for two minutes. At this stage, avoid stirring the fish as it may break into pieces. However, if the pieces of the fish fillet is slightly bigger, the cooking time may be slightly more than two minutes and the fish may need to be carefully turned to ensure that it is fully cooked. If the sauce is too dry, you may add some water to dehydrate it. However, when the fish continues to cook until it's cooked, so it should release some juice uh, from the fish and it will have a little bit of the gravy. 
After two minutes, the fish is cooked. How to tell whether the fish is cooked? The color has changed into solid white and there is no more blood. But if you can see something like this, it's not, not yet cooked, you may slightly give it a turn. This part is all cooked, but this part is slightly not yet cooked. Alright, the fish is already cooked. You can see all the color is changed into solid white and it has also coated with the ginger scallion sauce. Very well, now I'm going to switch off the heat. This dish is best enjoyed while it is hot with rice. I'm going to transfer it into a plate and serve. It looks so delicious. It really has a very nice fragrance of the ginger. Delicious. The fish is so soft and tender. It's very tasty. The sauce is strong and heavy with flavor of ginger and garlic. Usually this flavor might be too rich on the other meat. But with the patin fish that is rich in fatty oil, it balances out the fatty flavor perfectly. This dish is very flavorful and appetizing. Have it with rice. It's so delicious. If you have tried the recipe, do share the outcome in the comment below. I would love to hear from you. And all the comments are welcome. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please share with your friends. And remember to subscribe for more of my simple home-cooked recipe like this. Thank you and bye-bye.